Uh, this is slightly different. Um, last time I think I relied upon my, my daughter to help me out a lot. So um, what I'd like to share with you is that um, I currently work as a um, dyslexia teacher, working in small groups, no, sorry, in one-to-one -one, uh, in primary school. I also work one-to-one -one with some um, secondary school as well. And this, um, I had a year five child come rushing to me uh, a few months ago saying, Let's do this is this is Mrs. Levy, help me with my times tables, please. And, uh, and I was thinking, okay, right, quick, uh, what should we do? So the first thing I started doing was um, to assess which tables that she, she had problems with. And um, often the Yates, this sort of uh, one um, pops up. Um, so we, we went through a subject which one she didn't know, and then we made cards with them like this, and with the numbers on the back, and we played games. And I thought, okay, iPad, you love the iPad, what can we do? And we're really thinking on the spot, but we, um, we turned to um, Tom. Good old Tom. And we gave him like this. Seven times eight. Seven times eight. <laughs> Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times eight is fifty-six. At which point she turned over the car to see if it was right. When she congratulated Paul from Tom, we get a good night. No, she gave me zero. Seven times eight. We then repeated that. I went with Paul now. This time, I went with Paul now. This time, we recorded. We recorded. The time table. So this was a fun way to practice. <laughs> a good way to practice our time table. Okay, uh, let's take the next step further. Um, Barazin. Okay, so I made my card, a trigger card, using the uh, video that we made of Paul and Tom. <laughs> so another fun way to explore seven times eight. Finally, so I've got a way to do about that, puppet pals. Um, I had to get my book in this somehow. So I've used, I've used one of my boys today, how many? Seven times eight. Equals 56. Okay, so by the end of that, I think I'll be able to put 7 times. Thank you very much.